Hey guys, this is Hydra from x -Trades, and in this video, I'm going to be going over covered calls and what they are and how you guys can use them to boost your boost your returns for your investment portfolio. Um, so covered calls is basically when you sell a call um, and all right, so let's say you have a stock XYZ. All right, let's just say, let's use a real example. Let's say you have Tesla, right? Actually, no, let's just use a hypothetical example. XYZ, all right, and it's trading at $100, trading at $100 currently, right? And let's say that you want to sell a covered call at 105. So you sell a call option at um, with the strike 105. And let's say you get, it costs 0.80 cents, right? So you get $80 of premium, right? And let's say you are going one month out. So let's say it's January right now and you're selling this for February, right? So what this is basically doing is that you currently have, you can, and to sell a covered call, first of all, you need 100 shares. So that's very important. You need 100 shares and that's equivalent to one call, one call. So if you have 1,000 shares, then you can do 10 calls, right? So, all right, th that's, those are the fundamentals. So let's say XYZ is, sharing, is currently trading at $100 and you want to sell a covered call uh, for February and it has a strike price of 105 and uh, let's say you get $80 premium for it, right? So that means that as long as XYZ, so there's three outcomes that can happen. So XYZ closes below 105 right let's say let's say xyz stays flat then you keep that 80 dollars premium because it expired below that 105 price right stays flat or uh closest below 105 then you get to keep 80 dollars and this 80 dollars you basically just got for free for sell selling this covered call right if you didn't sell covered calls, then you wouldn't be able to get this 80, extra $80 a month, right? So that's the whole benefit of um, doing covered calls. So let's say XYZ does close above uh, that strike price, so it closes above 105. What happens now, right? So now you sell your shares at 105, so that, that's a $500 profit because you have 100 shares and that's a $5 move, so that's five hundred dollar profit and you still get to keep that eighty dollars from that option right so now you're starting to see how like why covered calls are so great right so if it stays flat or closes below 105 you get to keep the 80 bucks and if it closes above that 105 level then you get to sell your shares for a nice profit and you get to keep that 80 dollars as well so this way you're basically creating passive income so typically you want to sell you want to sell a call 30 days away from uh, expiration so if it's january 1st then i want to sell for february 1st right and so on so you want to sell 30 days away from your current date and you typically want to sell five percent above the current price and you want to just rinse and repeat right and this strategy tends to work best for those um this the stocks that tend to move slower so like big cap stocks and uh, non-tech stocks, it tends to work really well for those type of stocks. Um, and it also really works for dividend stocks, right? Because dividend stocks usually move pretty slow and you can, this is a way to generate extra income for those dividend stocks. So let's say you're um, yeah, buying like Coca-Cola and you get some dividends off it, but Coca-Cola barely moves, right? Uh, it basically stays flat. Um, most of the time so you could sell these covered calls as a way to make extra income um, from those shares that you're holding but yeah this is how covered calls work and uh, there's really no downside to having covered calls except that when it cl closes above your strike price let's say it goes to like uh, let's say you end up selling at 105 but the sh uh, stock actually goes up to like 110 right then you end up selling a lot earlier than you would have wanted to, but you can also decide your strike price, right? So if you want to sell at 110, then you can make it 110, but the downside would be that you would collect the last premium. So if you did 110, then you would only collect like $40 of premium instead, right? So 
it's very customizable and you can set it up to how you want it so if you want your shares if you want to give your stock more room then you can sell out further collect less premium but if you want to uh, collect more premium then you would, you would have to sell um, closer to the current price of the stock um, I hope that makes sense thank you guys for tuning in uh, and uh, feel free to DM me if you guys have any questions thank you bye there's a reason why Xtrades is currently the fastest growing application on the market for sharing financial ideas. With over $2.5 million paid in the last two years to contributors, users are flocking to see what trades the top traders on the leaderboard are sharing in real time. If you're looking to grow your reputation as a trader on the internet or discuss your trading ideas with other reputable investors, click the link below and get connected with the trading mentor today, completely free of charge.